so um so talking about um, what kind of uh, like uh, processes we do in, in image processing basically we have some input image here and then we want to perform something like uh, uh, like perform some kind of uh, enhancement to it so like I, I perform some enhancement I have this image now this image is more suited to the task that I want to perform as compared to the original image uh, and, and, the, and the process can be like um, increasing the contrast or decreasing the contrast it can depend on the task that I have in my hand now there are two types of uh, now this process like this can be done in two ways so the first thing is uh, like in the special domain only so i have the input image like this and inside the special domain only um, i can make some changes uh, to the uh, to the image so like this is directly working on the pixels uh, we have and secondly i can work in the transform domain In this case, basically, um, we have the input image. So if the input image is in special uh, domain only. Then we perform um, a transform on this image to get the image in in maybe the Fourier domain. Uh, sorry, the 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 frequency domain, uh, which can be achieved through Fourier transform or any other domain. Basically, we have we currently have the image in. Uh, transform domain and now we modify the image in this domain so earlier we were basically changing the pixels in uh, in the special domain only in this case we will be doing this in the in the transform domain and once we uh, modify it um, like we modify uh, this image then we apply inverse transform so we apply the inverse transform and we get the image back in the special domain uh, so this is so these are these are the two ways to do it one is you just directly work on the special domain the other is you do this process convert it to a different domain modify the the, the image there and then convert it back to the special domain because we want to visualize this in the special domain only uh, but in some cases it's actually much easier to uh, to convert it into a different domain and then modify it and in some cases maybe this one is easier in this section maybe we are going to cover more about special domain only and just to get a good introduction on what exactly this is and and what is the idea behind it so in so the name that we give it is special filtering special filtering now the one equation that we will see in in this um, section is g of xy is t times f of xy now what does this mean what is g what is f and what is t so f here as we know that this is the way to represent an image in a functional form so f here is the input image i will write it so this is the input image g here is the output image the one we get after performing some kind of modification so this is the output image and t is the transformation matrix so t defines um, what kind of um, transformation we use and again in uh, depending on what kind of t there are two types of uh, <laughs> again there are two two methods that we can use so first is um, let's let's say this is uh, the input image and yeah yeah this is uh, wait wait yeah so let's say this is the input image and this is the output image so this is f this is g and we apply some sort of um, trans like some sort of uh, operator so t here is the operator we apply some sort of operator on this um, which gives us the output image now let's consider one pixel here and this corresponds to the pixel here 
remember this is the input image so we already have all the values of the pixel let's let's say that uh, the value of uh, the intensity value at this location is let's say a naught now we need to find what is the the and and this is at a given location x naught y naught right so this is at x naught y naught and if and if we follow this criteria basically this means that f of x naught y naught is a naught now we are interested in finding what is the what would be the intensity value at the output image so we need to find what is g of x naught y naught so again as i said um, like uh, depending upon t it can be uh, one of two ways so the first one is that this pixel is only dependent on 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 the one that is present here so at g x not y not is only dependent on f x not y not so in this case um, depending on what t is so if i say um, like this value as a uh, as, as let's say s so this is represented by s and this is uh, represented by r again we know the value it is a node but still if this is represented by r so s would be simply t of r where t is like a mapping uh, uh, like a one-to-one -one mapping uh, for example if we if we take an example it can simply be um, uh, like uh, this can be two times r right so whatever input we have for example in this case it was a note here it would be two times a note two times a note or or if it is let's say uh, let's say this is r by 2 then in this case if we use this transformation uh, operator then um, here instead of 2a it would be a naught by two, right? So we can we, we get an idea that this pixel is only dependent on the value of this pixel. Now there is uh, one more way to do it. So in this case, again we use the same convention. We are talking about one particular pixel here. So this is G. This is F. In this case um, value of G and again like oh, everything is same so this pixel is present x x naught y naught at x naught y naught and we know the value of f x naught y naught which is a naught so in this case um, the value of G of x naught y naught will not just depend on the value of a node but it will also consider the value present in its neighborhood right so earlier it was just we were having the value of fx node y node in this case we have we are taking more information into consideration so in this case we are going to have this whole neighborhood now this uh, so t in this case will be defined not just on fx node but also on its neighbor one one case could be that we are taking the average over the neighborhood so in this case we will take these values let's say this is uh, like a three by three we are considering three by three neighborhood so we will take the sum and we will divide by the number of elements because we are taking an average so we will divide by nine we will get some some number and that will be replaced here so these are the two um, two ways of uh, performing spatial filtering so now let's uh, dig more into the first one that we did here. So I will clean this up. So let's let's take um, let's take two different examples of what T can be. Now again, I said T is a one by one mapping, so it can be represented as this. So this is an input. This is this this is output just consider that this is a straight line and then uh, so so here we will get the input so input is pixels present in the input image and this is these are represented by um, r and then we get the output which i represent by s and again like i'm following this one so s is equals to t of r 
uh, now let's take this, so I will draw the diagram something like this, uh, like consider this a uh, smooth S so what is going on here, um, basically if uh, if I have some some function like this so which is a straight diagonal so if I use this for transformation basically this means that the input image is equal to the output image so the input image like the pixel present here would map to the same value here but in this case we can see that there is some difference so let us let us consider for some so this k is some arbitrary point or um, we can say a parameter to, to this so if we select any point um, in the input image which is less than k here so ideally the value should come here but if we follow the function the value will come here right so mean uh, like its intensity value will decrease but if we consider any point which is uh, which is larger than k so for this one so uh, so ideally it should be like this i mean uh, initially this was the value but the output of this function would be some value higher than this now we can see what this transform is doing if if any intensity level value is lower than k it is decreasing it further and if any intensity value is high, is higher than k it is increasing it further so this type of transformation is uh, is known as uh, contrast stretching so contrast stretching we are basically increasing the difference between the lower and the higher contrast and hence the name contrast stretching now one another kind of uh, transformation that we can use is this one so i will use a different pen this time so yeah so we are defining this k and a straight line and like this now again everything else is same so this is r the input uh, intensity of the input image intensity of the output image now what what is happening here is any intensity in the input image which is lower than k will have zero value and any intensity having in the input image having value greater than k will have the maximum value so let's say the, like, like we are talking about a grayscale image the 8-bit uh, yeah, like which are having pixels in the stored in the 8-bit so this will be uh, all the values here would be 255 and all the values here would be zero so any value greater than k will be changed to 255 any value less than k would be changed to 0 so yeah this uh, this this is all about in this section